Hi, my name is Jason Lefevre, and I'm a product manager with the Platform Workflow Automation team. Today, we're talking about playbook experience. One of the questions we commonly encounter is, what is the purpose of playbook experience? We've done some videos on Process Automation Designer already. Process Automation Designer is our no-code builder for automating and sequencing business process. Think of process automation designer and playbook experience as two different sides of the same coin. Playbook experience is the UI portion of a process. So it provides a way to visualize and interact with business process workflows in real time via a simple task oriented view. It also ensures a consistent response to commonly encountered situations. Let's take a look at an example of a playbook. So in this application, I've got a playbook in my configurable workspace, and the playbook guides a case manager or a case representative through a banking loan application use case. So let's say a client or a prospect has reached out seeking a bank loan, they have filled out an application, and now the playbook is going to walk the representative through the steps that should be taken to review the credit worthiness, send the process to underwriting, and ultimately, hopefully, approve them for their bank loan. A couple of components are presented on this page that represent our playbook. So first of all is the playbook picker. It is possible to run multiple playbooks for the given record. So in this case, we've got a bank load application built on customer service management. So this is a case. If I want to run multiple playbooks that my agents can pick and choose from, they can pick which playbook they're going to follow in the playbook picker. Next, we have the horizontal stage picker. This outlines the stages that are part of my playbook. It will have some visual indicators to show me which stages have been completed, which ones are in progress, and which ones are yet to come. We also have a vertical orientation of this to give you flexibility in how you present your playbook to your target user. The next component is the activity picker. This summarizes the activities or steps that are part of the currently selected stage. So it gives me an understanding of the work that I need to complete in the current stage of the playbook. The next component is our activity viewer. This is where I complete work in the playbook. So whether I'm reviewing information and marking a step complete, filling out a form, sending an email, sending a Teams message. I have a number of things that I will do to progress the process via the Activity Viewer. Another thing to keep in mind is that if there are additional process contextual components that you want to display in your playbook page, this is possible using our data controller. The data controller gives you access to all of the underlying process execution data. So if there's a slot on the page that should present loan estimates at a certain point in the process, maybe later in the process, it should present different information. You can use the power of the data controller to implement custom components that are also process aware. I hope you found this useful. Good luck building your playbooks.